So welcome to Techno Dad Life and today what we're going to do is we're going to add 2.5 and 10 gigabit ethernet to our network for super cheap. And so let's do that right now. So the first thing is, uh, do you need 2.5 or 10 gigabit ethernet? So if you're a content creator, uh, editing videos, things like that, or you have large file transfers, then definitely yes for the 10 gigabit. 2.5 gigabit uh, is becoming a new standard for what's on computers these days. I have two new computers that just came with 2.5 gigabit. So it's, even if you don't think you need it, it's probably wise for your next switch to actually move up to 2.5 gigabit. And it's super easy to add 2.5 gigabit to your existing computers. Uh, so how you would add it is basically they sell these little dongles. It's a 2.5 gig uh, to USB or USB-C dongle. And I, in particular, I bought this one because it has both. Uh, so in the instance where I need something or I use this on a different computer or device, uh, we still have the USB and then the USB-C to use. Uh, from what I can tell, they just plug in and they just work either in Windows or on a Mac. I have not tr tested this on Linux yet. So we'll have to see about that. But so far, so good there. Next, we need the switch. And so 2.5 gig switches are becoming super cheap on Amazon these days. And so this switch in particular, it's called a Vimin or Vinamin. And so on this switch in particular, it has two SFP plus, uh, even though it actually says on it just SFP, uh, underneath it says 10 gig FX. Uh, in testing, this does actually is, or should I say, is a SFP plus, so it does do 10 gigabit uh, ethernet. Okay, so the next thing you'll need is some SFP adapters. And they're not in this box. Be right back. And so what you'll need is one of two types of adapters. So one is a fiber adapter, and then you'll need a fiber cable, or, oh, actually you'll need two of these. So one on each end for your computer, or if you're going copper, then you need a RJ45 copper adapter that will then plug into the switch. Just like that. And then you plug in your copper cable into there. So those are the basic ingredients for setting up the 2.5, 10 gig switch. And so what I'm gonna do is my wife is away right now, so redoing a bunch of things. And so I'll do a video about that shortly, but I am probably going to run, I actually don't have an ethernet cable down here to the basement. This is my new office. I've moved since, since uh, a little while ago. Don't, do not have ethernet down here. I did have, a coax line coming down here and uh, I actually had to do that because we or changed that because we switched our internet to coax we got it from the cable company because it was actually better than our fiber here from Windstream oops and so so we need to run some Cat6 down into the basement and I will do a video about my hack job of how to do that. Okay, so until the next video, take care. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye-bye.